Hello everyone and welcome to my 10th video in the series. Top 10 facts about Hikaru Nakamura, the bullet the demon. Number 1. Hikaru Nakamura is an American chess grandmaster who was born on December 9, 1987 in Hirakata, Japan to a Japanese father and an American mother. At the age of 2 he moved with his mother and older brother to the United States. He began playing at the age of 7 and was coached by his Sri Lankan stepfather, Fide master and renowned chess author and teacher Sunil Viramantri. Number 2. Hikaru's January 2011 triumph in winning the prestigious Tata Steel Invitational in Vikanze, the Netherlands, ahead of the four highest ranked players in the world, was held by none other than the legendary Garry Kasparov as the best result by an American since 1895. Number 3. Hikaru is widely regarded as America's best hope of regaining the title of world champion once held by the great Bobby Fischer. Since earning his Grandmaster title at a younger age than Fischer, Grandmaster Hikaru's innovative and uncompromising style has delighted numerous fans around the world. Number 4. Hikaru is universally recognized as one of the world's best blitz players and arguably the very best at bullet chess. They don't call him the bullet demon for nothing. He defeated the current world number 1 Grandmaster Magnus Carlsen in a 4 game match in the finals of the BN Bank Blitz Challenge in Oslo in November 2009. Hikaru is also the unofficial world champion at Chess 960 having earned that honor by defeating Grandmaster Levan Aranyan in the finals of the Mainz Chess Classic in July 2009. Hikaru is a 4 time United States Chess Champion winning the title in 2005, 2009, 2012 and 2015. Number 5. Hikaru was 7 years old when he won his first tournament. He didn't play chess in school because by that time he was already homeschooled. Number 6. Hikaru was 15 when he broke the record for the youngest American Grandmaster. Bobby Fischer previously held the record, Nakamura was 3 months younger. Nakamura's record was subsequently broken by Fabiano Caruana in 2007 followed by Ray Robson in 2009 and further lowered by Samuel Sevian in 2014. Number 7. Nakamura used to play a lot in Washington Square Park when he was younger, but now everyone knows who he is and no one wants to play against him anymore. You just can't hustle Hikaru. Number 8. Hikaru never had a job, other than being a chess player. He said if he had the opportunity, he would probably be in finance or Wall Street. Probably in training, as he does have an interest in the markets as well. He usually invests his prize money in stock market. Number 9. Hikaru was a serious online poker player. What attracts him to poker is the element of game theory and just trying to make the right decisions as much as possible. But the reason he likes chess much better is that in chess, if you play close to perfect, you aren't going to lose. You control your own destiny. In poker you don't really control anything, you can make the right play all the time, but in any given situation you can also lose. Aside from chess and poker, Hikaru loves to play tennis. And number 10. Nakamura is well known in the chess community for frequently playing on the internet. He plays primarily on chess.com as Hikaru, the internet chess club formerly as Smallville, nowadays as Capilano Bridge, and on play chess as Star Wars. He served as a commentator and game annotator, most prominently on the Chess Ninja website, operated by chess author Mick Greengard. He has been described as having an uncommon enthusiasm for chess and as being much more approachable than other players of his ability. For instance, just after winning his first US championship in 2005, he played numerous one-minute games with all comers in the lobby of the hotel where the competition had taken place. Nakamura maintains a Twitter account under the username GM Hikaru. He is sometimes nicknamed the H-Bomb because of his explosive style of playing. And as usual I have a question for you. Do you think Hikaru stands a chance in the upcoming candidates tournament or has internet chess ruined his classical prowess? And for the end of this video here's a short video of Hikaru talking about internet chess. I, I think certainly I made my career from, I mean at least from maybe five, ten years ago, everyone will remember me from, from playing online. I mean, hopefully I'll be able to be remembered for, for you know, classical chess and being stronger at that. But certainly um, playing on the internet and being the best player there for many years, certainly I think uh, it, it's, it's what most people will remember me for at the moment. And uh, I know there's so many videos out there of, of me playing Blitz and I'm just, uh, I, do, I do like playing Blitz. It's, it's a lot of fun. That's another thing is uh, certainly when I play on the internet, I try to play against anyone. There, there are many players who perhaps they, they don't spend so much time on the internet playing and therefore a lot of people don't have the same sort of level of interaction with with their fans that, that I do. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and a comment and if you're interested when my new video will be released subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button after. Thank you all for watching and see you soon.